One of the most popular views in Microsoft Project is the Gantt chart. In this module, we will look specifically at how to format the Gantt's task sheet to create the most useful view of a work breakdown structure. The concept of the work breakdown structure is thoroughly presented in Chapter 6 of the Fast Forward MBA in Project Management. The task column in the Gantt view can show both summary tasks and detailed tasks. The options for formatting the task list affect how easy it is to read and understand. We begin by looking at the Home Landscape Project, the same project used in the Fast Forward MBA in Project Management. Notice how the work breakdown structure is indented with outline numbers and with summary tasks in bold. To change any of these formatting options, on the menu bar, choose Tools, then Options, and select the View tab. Options for formatting the work breakdown structure are located in this area. By turning off all these options, we'll see how they affect our understanding of the work breakdown structure. Now it's become a simple task list. Let's add back these features one at a time. First, we'll add the summary tasks. Next, let's add the indentation. Now let's add outline numbers. The outline symbol is a useful tool for manipulating your view of tasks. Use this symbol, the minus, to show fewer tasks. And click on the plus sign to expand and show the hidden tasks. Once your WBS is formatted the way you'd like, there is one final feature to understand. As you add tasks, you'll want to make some of them summary tasks. Simply type in the task names, Then use the indent arrow to make tasks subordinate to the summary. We can even outdent all of these tasks to create a whole new category of tasks. The work breakdown structure is the foundation for all project communication. Now you know how to manipulate the format of the task to support your project communication goals.